I live in Montreal and I am a sculptor. In the past uh, 20 years, I've only been to see the dentist twice. I'm in weight and it's not easy to find a dentist if you don't have status card. I come from Mexico. I have broken teeth. The Canadian Academy of Health Sciences report, which uh, we recently published, uh, highlighted uh, very significant inequalities in the oral health of uh, Canadians and also in the access to dental care of Canadians, whether it's the elderly, people living and working in poverty, young children, people living in rural areas, recent immigrants, Aboriginal groups. They have the highest level of uh, oral health problems, the highest levels of disease, and they have the greatest difficulty getting to see a dentist or other dental professional to have those problems dealt with. Previous studies have shown that refugees and asylum seekers are vulnerable with poor oral health and difficulty with accessing oral health care, especially when they arrive in Canada. Aboriginal people in Canada experience higher rates of oral disease than non-Aboriginal people. They also have lower utilization rates for dental services than non-Aboriginal people, although they are covered by a federally funded dental care plan specific for them. It is worth noting, however, that 56% of Aboriginal people today live in urban areas, and many of them are not covered under this program. Poverty is one of the main determinants of poor health and poor oral health. The biggest cause of this are the financial barriers, but that's not the uh, only cause. I suggest the development of uh, person-centered care. We think it's very important that everyone knows about this. The dental professions know about this, the public knows about this, the political decision makers, the medical professions know about this important and significant problem. We need to come up with new um, means to deliver care. So for instance, mobile dentistry is, is uh, something which is pretty unusual, but it's something that we're exploring in a number of dental schools. Uh, universal dental care coverage, for instance, to be out of dental pain, uh, to have active disease, active dental decay uh, treated, and to have basic preventive care. These are the sorts of things which we think all Canadians should have access to.